What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Bullseye, with his very first video on YouTube. Excited to be here. And before we dive right into this video, and the reason why you clicked on this video, let's hit the intro. I don't want to cry no more. Uh, I don't want to cry no more. Uh, I don't want to cry no more. Uh, I don't want to cry no more. Every tongue and ass mouth break his jaw. My fuck for the fall and I'm a poor. All right, welcome back, guys. So today, I just wanted to go over a really, really, really easy uh, tip and trick on US30 that I use on a daily basis. For those of you that are tapping in and have no idea who I am, um, I go by Bullseye because I'm a bullseye in the market. And um, I've been trading for about a year now, and uh, primarily US30. And um, it's been a hate-love relationship. And uh, if anybody trades US30 as much as I do, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but today, I'm here to help you um, ease your psychology a little bit more um, using a fundamental approach that can coexist with our technicals to allow us to have, um, you know, enough confidence to take our trades, you know, following your, your technical rules and your ratios and, you know, whatever your strategy is, this is just to implement fundamentals to make sure that you're on the right end of the stick, right? Um, so let's dive right into it. So the very first thing that you want to do is you do want to go to cnbc.com, okay? You don't need to pay for it. You don't need the pro version, okay? Um, but you will go to CNBC. They have a bunch of free resources. And I tend to wake up about four or five in the morning um, just to see if there's anything going on that can be relatively important to the 930 open um, every day. Like I said, you don't need to pay for it. Uh, go to CNBC.com. Next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to this market section. Just tap on U.S. markets. As soon as that pops up, you're going to get this menu right here. Okay, NASDAQ is there as well, um, but we're going to go ahead and click Dow 30. So just a quick thing. For those of you that don't know what US 30 is, it's actually the 30 largest stocks in the United States that makes up a component called US 30. OK, so once you go to Dow Jones, OK, you're going to get this chart. At 9.30, this chart will be fresh and new every single day up until the close of the market for the week. When the majority of these stocks are red, you're actually going to have more of a bearish sentiment. And the more green you would have, the more of a bullish sentiment you would have. Usually, um, when we are in a range, you're going to get 15 red, 15 green. Okay, so we really want to see like 20 to 25 of these green or red to have a very strong bias fundamentally that can coexist with our technicals. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of a trade that I took on Friday using this chart here. So on Friday around 4, 430 in the morning, news got released of a new variant that's been found um, in Africa. Okay, new COVID variant. And as you guys can see, the majority of these stocks went red, right? So obviously, you know, uh, panic sells and whatever the case is, right? It doesn't really matter. You're just focused on red, 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 red. So you guys can see clear as day. So 430, this wasn't reported yet until 930. Remember, 930 open, that's when this becomes fresh. So when 930 came about, around 930, 935, this whole thing was red. Okay, there was uh, three stocks that were green. That is giving you a bearish sentiment. So when we come over here and you had the news getting released, right? And you saw what happened. So here's the Friday open all the way until the close from, uh, well, going into the morning of London session into New York session. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I used my technicals to actually put this together. So. As you guys can see, I did have a FIB set up. So what I did is I took my FIBs from the most recent high, that broke structure that gave us a retracement back up. It came right into my OTE level, okay? Um, which, you know, at some point uh, in my YouTube career, maybe I'll go over it for you guys. Again, this is how I used my technicals to actually uh, formulate, um, you know, a strong connection between fundamentals and technicals. So again, the whole chart was bleeding right around, you know, 930 gave me confidence to hold my trade that I already took. So again, I put my fibs up. Um, I saw that we were creating a lower high formation, um, you know, so lower low into a lower high matched right up with my Fibonacci levels. 
uh, stop loss was above the previous high and I was able to catch this and it was a very easy setup again I had a bearish sentiment from the news with the COVID variant it lined up with structure and there you have it I have a trade setup that I was able to take because they coexisted with each other um, not every single day is going to be perfect that is the one thing I'm going to tell you right now there are going to be days where it's 15 and 15 or like 16 and 14 and it's not clear Okay, that means it's half and half. So it's not going to work every single day. But this is just one example on how you can actually use the CNBC, um, you know, tip that I just gave you and and adding it um, to your you know toolbox of knowledge. So if you actually appreciated this video, uh, leave a leave a like, leave comments um, and please subscribe to the channel. And if this video can get to 5000 likes, um, I'll go over, you know, my Fibonacci settings and uh, how I use them. So. I appreciate everybody that's tapped in. Till next time.